Hi, this is Miss Pat, Education Assistant at the Customs House Museum and Cultural Center. Today we're going to take a close-up look at germs. Now, as we know, germs are microscopic. They're microscopic little microorganisms that are so small we can't see them with the naked eye. Sometimes it's hard for kids to conceive what a germ looks like since they can't see it. So we're going to make a model, a giant model, of a virus type germ. So they can see. Now, if you want to, this is optional, you can do a Google search for the coronavirus or for the flu or cold germ, download it and show it to your children. This happens to be a coronavirus right here. This is a cold or flu virus. One of the things I want them to notice, notice these spikes coming out from the germ. Why does the germ have spikes? Why would that help the germ to survive? Well, it helps germs to stick to things. And that's one of the things we know, is that germs stick to our hands and to our bodies. So our model is going to replicate that. To make our model, you need some Play-Doh or any other kind of modeling compound. I happen to be using Model Magic, but any kind of modeling compound would do. And we're gonna roll it into a ball because our virus is a circle, as you can see. Just roll it into a ball. All right, then what are we gonna use for the spikes? Well, Q-tips are perfect. Just put in half. Now I went ahead and painted mine red, just because it was fun. You can do that, you don't have to. But then we're going to stick our coronavirus or our cold germ or our flu germ. We're going to put all the little sticks in it, just like we saw the real germ has. And we're going to continue that until the ball is full of these little sticks. We're going to put it by the sink as a reminder to everybody that germs are there even though we can't see them. Wash your hands when you're at the sink. Thank you.